The Broomfield Police Department received reports of shots fi being fired inside the Walmart store. The shots sent officers speeding toward the Supercenter. We were just walking, heard pop, pop, and then everybody just took off running. And employees and customers of all ages running away from it. I just was getting ready to check out and uh, heard a big boom. This is my local Walmart, too. Uh, a man who lives in the area ran over and recorded some interviews on his phone shortly after the shooting and shared them with us. Everybody started screaming and running. For Margaret, who lives in Broomfield, this was supposed to be a quick trip to get dog food. She, too, ran out when the shots sent the store into a frenzy. And it was kind of chaos because people were running in all different directions. The girl in the beauty shop called people in there and locked them in with the gate. Police say the shooting between the man and woman happened near the subway inside the store. It was at the subway and yeah, we just heard a couple shots and they rushed us all out the back. Police were able to secure the store and get the woman into custody, but weren't able to catch up with the man until hours later. I'm not sure what kept her from, from fleeing. They believe the two suspected shooters knew each other, that this was not random, but the sound of gunfire in a place as public as this led to a memory that'll be hard to shake. Very, very scary. Very. Yes. Yep. I don't know what's wrong with people. <laughs> Again, there were no injuries in this shooting, which leaves plenty of questions about what exactly happened inside of this Walmart in Broomfield. Broomfield police tweeted out earlier tonight that they're not sharing any more information today, so we will continue to ask tomorrow about who exactly these people are and what charges they may face. The Walmart, by the way, reopens at 6 a.m. Kyle. Right, I think sometimes the temptation is to say, you know, oh, well, investigators say these two knew each other, you know, no continuing threat to the general public, or oh, no one was injured. And, and, and forget the simple fact that people are terrorized by the fact that folks are shooting at one another in public. And in this day and age, Kyle, it certainly uh, sparks some fear when you hear those pops. All right, thank you, Ryan, appreciate it.